Now you might be wondering why I'm dressed like this. Well, we're about to head somewhere very special, Mabuhai Squad. Taking you along. Um, and it's going to be a meal with someone very special, Mabuhai Squad. Where we're going now is... Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. Mabuhai Squad, here at Amare, just had a feast. And I'd like you to meet Bui. What's up, Bui? What's up, guys? Yes. <laughs> Bui is a friend we're just meeting here um, about business. Um, and maybe you guys will hear more about it in the future. Yes. Oh, Sahara. Here's the Sahara. She has her cone collar because she just got spayed. <laughs> it's okay, Sahara. You'll be fine soon. Oh. You're gonna be here with Ate Elsie. Here's Ate Elsie in her room. Just stay here with Ate Elsie, okay? She just needs to rest. She's had a long day. Here's Coco. Coco has been wondering where her sister Sahara was all day today. She's looking for her. Don't worry, Cox. You'll be able to see Sahara soon. She's just in Ate Elsie's room recovering. Yeah, don't worry. You'll be able to see her soon. Yeah, she's there. They're so bonded, guys. These two sisters. <laughs> Good morning, Mabuhai Squad. How are you doing? Um, I'm going to go visit Sahara and see how she is. She's just next door. We've been keeping her separate from the other dogs. Sahara. Oh, hi, Sahara. How are you? How are you feeling? Hmm? You okay? You okay? She's in uh, pain. She's got, what is this? All the meds and supplements she needs to be taking. There's also her liquid food here because she's not eating. She doesn't have an appetite. Probably in so much pain, so we have to uh, force feed her. Um, we had to do this also when Cypher was cut, but apparently when dogs get spayed, the healing process is a bit longer because it's inside the body. It's not like snipping off some balls. It's, um, it's a little more involved of a healing process. It's okay, Sahara. You'll be okay. And she has her proper collar now, yay. It's just resting. We'll be back, Sahara. Just sleep, okay? Uh... All right, guys, let's see our positive affirmation for Wednesday, February the 2nd. I release whatever I am not using and polish to a high gloss those things that give me joy. There you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's positive affirmation about passing things along to others and, uh, being able to choose what to really keep. Basically, this is a good positive affirmation if you're a hoarder. Yeah, guys, so, you know, hoarding is a, did you guys watch that show? I think it was called Hoarder or Hoarding or something like that. Hoarder? Um, it was like on TLC or some, one of those channels. It blew my mind. Like some people really hold onto things and they can't let things go. I know this because I've lived with a hoarder. Not gonna say who it is. It's a loved one. Um, <laughs> but I understand how out of hand hoarding can get. Now, um, I've done a vlog in the past about my experience with hoarding. Um, I, I believe when I was younger, I kind of got close to hoarding, um, if it was not borderline hoarding, with pets, with animals. I used to collect all kinds of like little pets, like um, different tarantulas. I had a tarantula collection going, snails, uh, frogs. Like I, I had a huge collection. Mind you, I have these huge collections today. However, I have another vlog explaining why I don't feel like it's hoarding. And also most of the pets I have now are like really low maintenance pets, like some, a lot of them are plants. And I've also had to downsize because we've moved now here and out of my condo. I've had to like give things away. I've had to release animals back into the wild from which they came from, from whence they came. Um, so I know I'm not a hoarder, <laughs> um, but seriously hoarding can get out of hand and I, I've discovered that, you know, giving things away that you've owned for a long time is also very liberating and it like, the energy is great. It's like you become this vessel of like giving um, and you know, I, 
RJ and I love to give away old things and yeah, just the energy is great and you know, making other people happy from you, something you that gave you happiness at one point. Um, I, I really enjoy just letting things go. So yeah, hoarders apparently can't do that. <laughs> and I remember the hoarder that I knew that was close to me um, had problems letting go of the smallest, most seemingly insignificant things. Like, what's this gonna, what are you gonna use this for? Um, you know, but anyways. This is, the, this is the science of hoarding. It's really a mystery for those that don't understand hoarding, um, but it is actually a mental illness. Like, extreme hoarding is mental illness territory. Um, you know, holding on to things uh, could be a, uh, a sign of like dealing with trauma, for example. It's uh, really a complicated uh, mental health issue, this whole thing about hoarding. Um, and RJ and I have had many discussions on it and we've agreed that if we can let something go, we'll let it go. You know, there are certain things that I am not willing to let go, like things of extreme sentimental value. For example, my gold record from BMG, from the Canadian Idol album. I will never let that go. That is like, not everyone can say they have a Canadian certified gold record, you know in their past. Like, these are things that I will hold on to forever, even though they just sit there and do nothing. It's like, it means a lot to me. Our gold play buttons from YouTube, things like that, trophies that we've won, that's the stuff we will keep. Um, but in terms of like, things like clothes, we're willing to let those go. Sometimes I'm angry, I'm like, RJ, where did this favorite shirt of mine go? I've been looking for it for a while, and then I'll discover that we gave it away. <laughs> You know, to people in the province or my family who needs it. Um, and I'm like, oh man! But usually clothes are something we will, we will release and let go. I also know that I'm not a hoarder of pets because RJ and I will also let pets go. Obviously not our dogs, but like things like an ant colony, right? Our large ant colony that I loved and raised with my whole heart. The fire ants on my channel, Ants Canada, that I've raised for a year and a half with love, had to give that away. Also the yellow crazy ants, um, the Golden Empire, also raised them with love, had to give those setups away. So I know that I am not a pet hoarder. I'm a hoarder of memories. Mm, that's something I will hoard with love. Gladly. All right guys, thank you so much for watching another vlog. Um, just gonna continue to watch Sahara as she recovers. Um, it looks like it'll be a few days that she'll be in recovery mode. Me as well. I'm totally in recovery mode. Um, trying to do exercises to strengthen my back and help decompress my back um, so I could get better. But Mabuhai Squad. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in once again. We will see you in tomorrow's vlog. Mm -hmm. Bye. Mm. My battery is fully recharged I'm playing with a new set of cards My battery is fully recharged It's funny how